This offseason, Dylan Cousins signed a seven-year, $7.1 million per year contract with the Buffalo Sabres. However, he has struggled mightily this season. Find out how bad, coming up. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Sports Talk Buffalo. Buffalo Sabres center Dylan Cousins had what everybody believed to be a breakout year last season when he scored 31 goals and 31 assists for 67 points in his 81 games played. Cousins was, of course, rewarded after that season with a seven-year $49.7 million contract as it looked like the Sabres had found their clear number two center. Now this year, as Sabres fans coming into this season, most fans, including myself, did expect some offensive drop from last season, a little bit of regression as a lot of different players had career highs in the offensive categories. However, I don't think we expected them to regress this much coming off of last year, where again, the Sabres had just career offensive numbers and nobody was hurt more, of course, than Dylan Cousins. We didn't think the decline would be so steep. As I said, Dylan Cousins is one of the reasons why this offense has dropped nearly a goal per game from last season, as he has just 13 points, four goals, and nine assists in 28 games played this year, which puts him on pace for just 37 points this season. This would give him roughly half of the points he scored last season as his points per game this year has dropped from a .84 a .84 points per game last season to a very modest .46 points per game, which would be his lowest output since he was just 19 years old in the 2020 or in the 2020-21 season where he had a .31 points per game. Before we go any further, I want to remind you guys to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you guys never miss a video. I talk Bills, Sabres, and the University at Buffalo men's basketball and football teams right here on this page. Also, remember to check out some cool merch. The links will be in the description below. So just how bad has Cousins been this season? He currently has just one goal and five assists in his last 20 games. Your newly signed seven-year, seven million per season number two center has one goal in his last 20 games. Now, this video might anger some of my fellow Buffalo Sabres fans who will come at me and say things like, what do you mean? Dylan Cousins has been playing great. He's getting all sorts of opportunities. Right. That is very, very true. However, whether fairly or unfairly, after signing that massive contract and having a season like he had last year, that simply isn't good enough anymore. Dylan Cousins now has to raise his game and be able to capitalize on all of the opportunities that he is getting. And that is something that he has not done all season long for this Buffalo Sabres team. Cousins will have to start scoring and scoring soon. Otherwise, that seven-year contract that he signed this past offseason will start to look like an anchor for this Buffalo Sabres team. Now, I know Cousins is young. However, it is a scary thought 
for any Sabres fan, something that I thought about today, to think maybe this is the real Dylan, Dylan Cousins. Maybe this is who he actually is. And that last year was the anomaly. As his numbers have returned in points per 60, assists per 60, his shooting percentage, all of those things have returned to what they were in his first two seasons as a Buffalo Sabre. Something that, again, is incredibly scary to think about. You just signed this young man for another seven years, and he might only be a very expensive third-line center. As I stated earlier, if this is the case, Cousins doesn't, and Cousins doesn't pick up his scoring, general manager Kevin Adams is going to look like an absolute fool for betting on Dylan Cousins to continue his output and give him such a large contract after just one good season. So what do you guys think? Do you think Dylan Cousins returns to the form that we saw last season? Or do you think he will just end up being a very overpaid third line center? Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And as always, have a fantastic week.